Hello, this is Dr. Kemi Olunlayer. Last night, I posted something to say that about 200 people said they'll donate to my medical fund and only six donated. I specifically wrote on that post that I'm going to be taking a break from these pages and going to look for another source. But because of the illiteracy, okay, and the ability not to read things properly, many of you here on Instagram especially said, oh, I thought Auntie Kemi was going for a break. I thought I read things properly. Dumb fools. Don't annoy me. I don't like teaching on intelligent people over and over again. I said, I'm taking a break, closing these pages. Okay, I closed my Twitter page. I closed my Facebook page. Okay, I haven't opened my Facebook page yet, but I opened my Twitter page because somebody wants to see it for something. But I clearly said I'm going to another source. I took my campaign, okay, to Monster Funder and crowdfunding by GoFundMe to put it out there as a PTSD campaign for people to help me. Maybe people from overseas, total strangers in America, Canada, UK, may have the sympathy and donate for me. Nigerians are a disgrace. You should be the ones helping me, but you're not responsible. Why would I ask you for money? Were you the one that caused it? Iyabo Ojo, who took me to prison, hasn't done anything for me, hasn't acknowledged that she did something wrong. I was told by a pastor to forget the past, move on, and just forgive her. I forgave her from my heart, and she didn't want the forgiveness. Do you know what's going to happen to her? I can forgive her, but I can't forget what she did to me. I'm coming out with a book. If I had written this book in 2017, like everybody wanted me to rush that book, I wouldn't have had all this information. Stop acting like illiterate. You guys are fucking annoying me. I wrote everything I'm going through on that post this morning for Mother's Day, I mean for Children's Day with Iyabo's children. Did you read it? Do you know what people go through during PTSD? Do you know what anger is? I don't know any of you. Do you see how I'm talking to you? If you can't donate to my medical fund, keep quiet. And don't let me hear you say, Auntie, you need to rest. Auntie, you need to do this mental health. Are you my doctor? Have you donated? Every single person that donated I log their name because I'm going to put them all in a WhatsApp group for all of us, people that care about me. So if you have not donated, go and donate. If you can't donate, don't talk about my health. I don't like rhetoric. Okay, that's rhetoric. Keep your mouth shut. Don't tell me uh, she abused Adeboye. Adeboye could have helped her. She abused this one. Stop it. Shut up. I'm on this same bed every single day. Go and read Michael Phelps' story. Olympic swimmer, USA. He was in the room for five days. Didn't come out. That's how it is for me here. Sometimes in this room, I'm here for three days straight. I enter the bathroom, brush, shower, come back, turn the TV on, watch news, or be on the internet doing something or recording something. If I need to eat, my son brings food into this room. If you don't know what I'm going through, don't open your fucking mouths. I am very angry. I have a fear and I have flight. I am suffering from intense PTSD. Yapo Ojo told her fans that I'm using her name to scam people. Do you know what I'm going through? Nobody can tell me to apologize to anybody. Nobody can tell me to forgive and forget. But a woman of God told me, forgive her and move on. You think it's that easy? What if I have extreme PTSD and I get a gun and look for her where she is and kill her and kill people? You don't know what PTSD is. I will post a video tonight of a man going through PTSD, walking on the street and punches two women. One of those women collapsed. They said she died later. Don't get involved in my mental health. Don't talk about my mental health. Don't tell me to go and rest because you don't like my story. I'm doing stories to keep me busy. And you say, Auntie, go right. You don't like it, you get off my fucking page. And to tell you this video, I'm doing it at 6.45 p.m. Sunday, May 26. Stop it. Dr. Kemi Olunlayo. You don't know what I'm going through. You don't know the hell I'm going through right now. As soon as nighttime comes, my fear begins. If there's no light, I'm in, I'm in trouble. If there's no gen, I'm in the dark. I can't sleep in the dark. Stop it. If you cannot help me, don't talk about my health. Leave me.